present uh, administration, before even coming into power, they have been campaigning for over three years that once they come, they are going to demolish this. They have said it. It's not something that is new now. It has been there. They have been agitating that we are going to do this. So even the people that bought the land, they bought it at their own risk. So you see, it's just a double-edged uh, sword. They did, the government did wrong, and then uh, other people, public listen, they followed the government in the wrong uh, perspective. Massive demolition of structures kicked off the administration of Kano State Governor Abba Yusuf, who assumed office on May 29, 2023. The descriptive name, State of Oshon, on all laws passed by the House of Assembly from the year 2012 to the year 2022, is hereby reverted to its constitutional description of Oshon State. The application for the state shall be reverted from the state of the virtuous to the state of the living spring. The Nigerian national flag and coat of arms shall be the only flag and crest to produce at all public spaces in the states. The biggest problem with the Nigerian democratic state is the fact that there is a disconnect between the government and the governed. There is a huge disconnect, there is a huge ditch in the middle of those that are governing and those being governed. Because if not, how would you describe that a state government perpetually or, or seemingly or being said to have been voted for by the people gets to power, implement a couple of ideas, policies and programs to them supposed to be of the people, for the people, and by the people, and they leave government. Another government comes and takes over, and that government abolishes. Squeeze, quiz, uh, destroys, demolish the, the policies, programs, and projects by a government that, another government that was, again, said to have been voted for by the people. Why is it that the people that said yes to a particular program, policy, and project a couple of months later will be saying no? Or is it that the people will not be consulted at all? Which, that's a problem. Several people are doing stuff on behalf of the people that actually do not, does not relate or correlate or connect to the people. It means that the Nigerian political elite goes ahead and implement ideas, programs, and policies, and projects to, that do not have any bearing with the people. The people are not being consulted. Because if the people were consulted in the first idea, and the people will not reject it when the evaluation comes. What is happening in Kano is a typical example. Umar Graduje ran a government for eight years, supposedly of the people. And now there is a new governor who is in power now, demolishing the same project that we are doing by taxpayers' money. Quality time, resources, energy, <laughs> invested, being destroyed. Is the people be carried along? The question. But the answer is no. Raouf Alekbe Shala of Oshun State, in trying to brand the state, turn it to the state of Oshun, just like you see in some states in America, created emblem, logos, anthem, flags for the state. The House of Assembly just resumed. That was just inaugurated a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> Even days. They have quenched all ideas. Returned the state back to the constitutional, according to them. So, did Rahul consult the people initially? Or is this House of Assembly speaking with the people? We must begin to get it right. We want to get this country right. We, these are the questions to ask. Who sends you? If democracy is government of the people for the people and by the people, how come two democratic government are running on two different ideas, two varying ideas, without the people being consulted? So who did not consult the people? Or is it that both of you did not consult the people? And these are the things that we are not asking. And it's, and it's, and it's nauseating, irritating. Who sends you? We begin to question that. <laughs> For
forget about how our last words um uh, politics is who gets what uh no no that, that's only the point right now that's him where the people consulted in the initial projection or are the people be consulted in this demolition happening no wonder their godfather Bola Metinubu, said and i quote whether you protest or not no matter the number of days you protest <laughs> we will remove subsidy yeah no matter how long you protest though we are going to remove subsidy That is the truth. That is the truth. That's him. For a leader to say no matter how you put it. I thought it was supposed to be the people requesting for certain things. See what government actually in breaking down. This is not political science but just breaking down. Government as it were is supposed to be a set of individuals who have the expertise, the resources to be able, by resources I'm talking about state resources, to be able to deliver good to the people based on their request, their demand, their needs, and their wants. That's what it is. It is a set of people that have been elected by the people. That other appointment will not come, other contractual uh, agreement will also not come into place. But the idea is that the people want this. Ebola, as well as other governors and local council authorities, consult the people. You will know exactly what the people want at that moment. You focus on it. And I can say that as someone who is part of the people, first subsidy removal may be criminal, but was it something that the government should have backed on the way it did now? It meant that the people were not consulted. And I'm asking, what consultative forum, what town hall meeting was held to asking the people what it should be the priority of this government? And I expected a couple of things to have been done. And that's why some of you, when you sit there and say government is working, I'm laughing. Who spoke on our behalf? Who spoke? Who spoke to us? Who did we communicate to? Nobody. The people are requesting for make our farmlands habitable. Let us be able to go back to our. Let us be able to travel. Give us security. At least eighty percent of security to our lives and properties. Let us be able to navigate our way. Let us get back productive in our farm. Let there be roads to ease transportation of these goods coming from our rural areas to the city. Let us at least have better purchasing power to be able to eat and feed ourselves. If you remove subsidy, the pressure will not be too much on us. But a president that came to power, supposedly voted for by the people, said that no matter the number of days that you... It was John C. Maswell that said that a leader is the one that knows the way, shows the way, and goes the way. That's what leadership is. Benuma said that anytime you are walking and there are no people behind you, you know that you are taking a stroll. And whenever you take a stroll, understand that you are going to get back to the beginning point because only you stroll. The leadership in this country is strolling. The leaders of this country, if there are anything like that, if by definition of leadership, you understand that we don't have leadership in this country, they are only strolling. These guys are strolling because the people are not going with them. What exactly are we doing? Who are you consulting? Who are you speaking with? Who is the current governor of Kano State? Who is he speaking with? Did Grand Duke Day consult the people in, in building these infrastructures? Is the new governor consulting people in demolishing them? Did Rahul Farag Beshola consult the people in branding the state to becoming something you want to have names and brands, right? That looks like America, whereas the resources, infrastructures, mental uh, uh, capacity, and a couple of other education heads. They are not in the branding of what looks like America. Is the House State of State House of Assembly creating these destructions and returning back to, to status quo? Have they consulted the people? The Tinubu consult the people in, in, in removing first subsidy with the high in price, the levies and taxes that this government has imposed on Nigerians that are already suffering, that is the capital of poverty in the world. Is it the right way? I thought leadership is asking the people what you want and making expertise decisions in policies and programs on how you can translate that good because the people may not know how it comes, but they say this is what we want. Your job as a leader who has the resources of the state and who has opportunity to be able to link up with minds who are experts to providing that good is to give it to them anyhow. 
your people anytime you are leader there's nobody behind you you are taking a stroll our leaders are strolling every year every four years we keep electing people that strolls and they stray away and they stroll they stray away they not build a kind of nest with themselves there's not a political elite that is different from the people i ask again who consulted the people it is that time we started to vote on people that will be consulting us. So. <laughs> it is that time we started to vote on people that will, that will put us first. The people should be first. Democracy is government of the people, of the people, from us. You cannot be from us and not do things to better us. For the people, your attention should be focused on us, not even you. Us. Us. And by the people. Unfortunately, we are clapping for people that supposedly came from us, but they are not doing things for us. <laughs> they came from us. They are our indigenous, they are our citizens. But are the things they are doing, are they for us? Let's keep on asking ourselves very questions. Look at us. Look at Abuja. Look at Kanu. Is democracy. Is this what we practice? Is this what is this what we practice abroad and, and we loved it? Is this what the founders of democracy said? And they said this is the best form of government. We are in a quagmire. We are in a dilemma. For the people. So I'm going to ask you now. Which government in our present day society is actually working for the good of the people? And not for a single set. And not for his tribe. And not for his religious group. And not for his friends and family government what program or policy are you seeing around you that tend to have an initiative of the fact that the people engineer this who is consulting the people share this video as usual let's go around to nigeria this consciousness must remain in our minds if you are not for us you are against us let's continue to query everything because if the people in our true state felt like they were not carried along in that disposition of Branding the state, creating a new flag. Money was money is spent though. Several monies, millions of naira would have been spent in all those shenanigans, roller coaster of ideas. Big Marole, Merry Go Round, Drama. They will do inauguration, they will do public hearing. They will money should be spent and suddenly. Look at the monies that we are spent in Kano now. And you see the modern market, you see a, 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 a beautiful. Um, um, round the bar that was created. They said because it carries some religious um, intonation and then it was demolished. Money's wasted. The people's money being used and not consulting the people. Let's see some other time.